is up? Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day. Back with some Resident Evil 4 Remake gameplay as well as some OG Resident Evil 4 as well. And today I'm going to be talking about Separate Ways. Now, last time I talked about Separate Ways, it was more a video just basically how I think a lot of people must have thought after that um, lack of a showcase Capcom had where they didn't reveal or showcase anything, not even a mention of it or nothing. And it got a lot of people thinking, you know, does this thing really exist? And yeah, it does exist. It does, but unfortunately I can't prove it. Even though it's been, you know, data mined and found on files and we have voice lines. I'm not going to get into all of that. So, I'm going to get into several ways in terms of what I would actually like from it. Because as I said before, we could speculate when it's going to come out. I have no idea when it's going to come out. I have no idea... When it's going to show up? Is it going to be this year, next year? I have no idea. What I can do is I can tell you what I personally want from it. Because once again, obviously, going by the original Separate Ways. The original Separate Ways was a little nice add-on. But I feel like it could be so much more. It could be so much more effective. Because one thing about Resident Evil games is very rarely are they just one playthrough games. They usually have at least two playthroughs for the most part. I know some of them didn't. A lot of people like that replayability, and I want Ada's campaign in several ways, the uh, remake of Resident Evil 4, to be viewed kind of like how you would view like another um, campaign in a Resident Evil game, like something that we can look back on and be like, you know, that was definitely like something you know I wanted to play, not just like as a little add-on or a little mini thing and all. So without further ado, I'm going to give you my reasons of what. I want the Separate Ways DLC for Resident Evil 4 Remake to do. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. The first thing I want them to do is, and I think a lot of people speak on this, is increase the length of it. The original Separate Ways was only five chapters. And in the original RE4 campaign, I can't think of how many chapters there are off the top of my head. Since there are six big chapters and then the sub-chapters between them, uh, I don't know. You're talking about like 25, around 25 chapters. I know some are longer than others, but the point I'm trying to make here is 20, 25 chapters is a lot longer than the separate ways. I want separate ways to be pretty long. I mean, dare I say ambitious? I know this may be a little ambitious. I would like it to be the similar length to the original campaign, and I don't see why not, because if I've heard this thing behind closed doors, if, if it is to be true, that it's a lot more, you know, content than before, I don't see why I can't at least flirt with that. I mean, why not? Like, the RE4 remake has 16 chapters. Why not at least, I don't know, 10 chapters? I mean, if we're going to respect this as another, you know, campaign, it should be around the same ballpark, should it not? You know, similar to how, like, in, you know, RE2 or RE1, you know, you have multiple characters you can play as. I, I like this one to be looked at similar. So maybe that's ambitious, maybe it's not, but hey, it's my list, so whatever. The next part that I really would like to see done, and this is a, um, a smaller thing, but it's something a lot of people I don't think ever mention because they think it's by default, but it wasn't that way in separate ways. Is I like to be able to upgrade Ada's weapons. Um, in the original several ways, you couldn't upgrade weapons. You just got your weapons, and that was it. You had the merchant, but you just you could only buy them. You couldn't upgrade them, so it didn't really increase my ability to want to like go out there and explore and you know find treasures so I can get more currency so I can upgrade my stuff. So hopefully they bring back that. Shouldn't be too hard to done. I don't know why they didn't do that in the original one, but and also I like the. I mean, speaking of weapons, I guess this could be my next point. I like there to be some specific weapons that are unique to Ada that you can only have where Ada's playthrough, and that'd be really cool, I think. I don't think it should be too hard. I know you're going to have similarity weapons in the Leon campaign, but have something a little bit different. Um, there is one weapon I'm thinking of in particular, but um, I'm going to be quiet about that for now because I'll bring it up later. But yeah, just have maybe like one or two new weapons or something like that, but something unique and different. The next thing I like them to see done is really enhance the hook shot. Like the hook shot was cool. Um, it was something that um, you know obviously you get from one place to another. But I like to see it done in a unique fashion, like a little bit different. And by the way, before I forget this, I know I'm cutting myself off here, but I don't know if a lot of people realize. It's amazing how many people don't realize this. Um, 
But the original Resident Evil 4, you can actually see Leon running through the village right here as you see him right there. I'm actually amazed at how many people always say, oh my god, I never noticed that before. But, you know, a little off topic there. But anyway, I like the hook shot to actually be used for more. Like, maybe as like a counter thing. Like, maybe you can like use it to like disarm. I mean, the first um, cutscene in several ways has Ada using it to attack and take out some Ganados, but maybe use it to disarm a Ganado, like a weapon or something, or maybe just pull them down, or maybe pull yourself towards them. But obviously, I feel like they're, they're going to have to um, make it so like you only do it a certain amount of times. Like, kind of similar to like an ammo count where you have to use um, some resources to build the, um, the grapples you can do towards enemies and stuff. Because if, if it didn't have a, a limit, we'd just be doing it nonstop. Be, um, attaching enemies and just going after them non-stop but i like to see it used more than just from like getting from one place to another uh, maybe even using combos or something like that but the next thing i like to see is just a lot more new areas i know we know we're going to get similar areas and i mean even the older resident evils even though they had different like parts to them most of the campaigns, they had similar areas, just how you went about it differently and who you encountered. But I just like to see different areas. I mean, this is a massive game. And I think, ironically enough, the biggest area that's going to have the most differences, and it was the same way in the original several ways, is going to be the island. Because you remember when you were jet skiing out of the island, you know, when you're trying to gather for it blows up, there were so many things that you passed by that were like massive things like massive like stuff underground stuff the island's pretty big and we only get to see certain amounts of it so that's probably gonna be the biggest differences but i like to see a lot more different areas that we didn't see um i know people have um commented maybe the the little segue things they have or whatever they call the, the trolleys from the village i mean there's probably massive amounts of castle areas we didn't quite get to and obviously we're going to see different things from different perspectives but Regardless, I like to see some new areas, a lot more new areas than in the original one, because the only real new stuff was like the um, little naval ship and stuff. But the next thing I like to see in this um, separate ways DLC is I like to see. Now I know we're gonna get. You know, I'll just say I've, I've talked about this before. We know we're most likely gonna get the U3 boss fight. That one has been kind of known. If you don't know, basically the U3 was not in the remake. But he was mentioned in the files, and I always I like the lore of it and stuff mentioned about the U one, two, and three. But basically, it was we kind of saw it, but it just kind of disappeared. We obviously going to have to see it again. It didn't just disappear, so obviously it has to be saved for Ada. We know that, but I also like to see some different enemy types, even maybe possibly another new boss or something like that. Just something we didn't see in the Leon campaign, just to keep us on guard and stuff. I don't know what new enemy type you can do they can do a lot of things but just something that we didn't see just to give a little unfamiliarity there and stuff like that so i like to see some new enemy types maybe a new boss type and some extra bosses i know i've heard some people mention you know the one um el gigante that you know they had like the little scene from the remake where there was like a big like massive mallet or club maybe they could have one that has that that ada encounters or something like that but you know, something completely different would be cool too, but nonetheless, we'll see how it goes. The next part I want to see, and this is probably um, going to be more detailed than the other parts, because you can just generalize the say the other parts pretty easy, but this one's kind of be a little bit different, and, but I think it has to happen, honestly, is, and it might be the thing that happens the least of all these things, but I feel like it, it's got to be, because it just makes the most sense. Now, we never get a real canon of how Ada met Wesker. Like, the, the closest we've ever gotten was that Umbrella Chronicles game, which is very good, but it's not canon. But it makes the most sense. Like, that's how Ada met Wesker. Basically, if you never played it, basically Ada, after surviving, um, which seemed like she was dead in Resident Evil 2, she survived and met up with um, one of the contractors, and it was Wesker, and he basically gave her the grapple gun and told her to get out of the city and stuff but that's basically what we got visually from how her and wesker you know met each other they've probably met a little bit before but we never saw that we we just can go by visually i like them to showcase how that happens in the remake like how they got acquainted maybe do something similar among that so yes maybe that's how it starts out maybe like it starts out with Ada starting the mission you know to retrieve the um the amber 
and then kind of, kind of has a flashback when talking to um, Wesker and how they met each other, you know, what got them in cahoots with each other, and maybe just see how Ada feels about Wesker from behind the scenes and stuff like that. But there's a lot more information, not just for Ada's sake and, and the DLC, but also for Wesker, because I want people to really understand Wesker, because, yes, the OG fans know who Wesker is, but a lot of new people join in in the RE Engine era of Resident Evil, they don't know what makes Wesker such a big deal. So when they see him at the end of the remake, they're like, okay, who's this guy? Just another dude? Like, what makes him any different? So hopefully they can show more because that. That's why we've been arguing nonstop at Capcom, the remake Code Veronica at the very least, so we can at least see that. But nonetheless, i like to see how that whole development and how that whole pairing started in the first place. And piggybacking off that, i like to see, you know, Ada's thoughts as the mission progressed. You know, obviously, we're going to see that, but I like them to go more in detail, like you know how she feels about the mission she's doing. Is this something necessary that she wants to do, or she's just kind of doing it? Is, she really doesn't have a choice. How she kind of manipulates and plays both sides. How she feels about Leon's involvement and seeing him again for the first time in six years. How he's changed, and how like just being put between both. You know, Leon and stuff, and Wesker, I just like to see that confliction there. I think a lot of us would, and a lot of us were kind of like thinking, man, um, you know, after playing the remake campaign, like, we didn't get enough of that, but I think that's done on purpose so we can um, want that more often, but I like to see that and see how she perceives all that stuff, but I guess another thing I could say I want to see for this Several Ways DLC is just like, you know, Ada is, is a spy. She is known to be getting in there and unnoticed. I like to see a lot of sequences where <clears throat> he's kind of got... I'm not saying I want a whole stealth-oriented thing. No, I don't. At the end of the day, you do got to go loud and proud. But I just like to see... Just to show the difference between her, how she goes about doing a situation compared to, like, you know, your normal Resident Evil character. Just seeing how she goes in there all stealthily. And because I've always said, she's hiding in plain sight. And just how many times does she honestly get very close to Leon without him noticing? We had a few of those moments in the original one. Um, I'm trying to think how they're going to do it here. So, And you know they're going to be in there. But I just like them to be creative about it and just really experiment or whatnot. Next thing I'd like to see is just the whole, um, you know, one of the big surprises from the remake. And I think everyone is unanimous in this, is, was Luis. Um, Luis was one of the... Um, you know, maybe people say the best character. I mean, honestly, you can argue between him and Ashley the biggest um, biggest improvements in what they were given, and rightfully so. I'd like to see that um, that whole development, how that started. Maybe that's how it started in the first place. Maybe that's how the game starts, but just seeing how Luis and Ada got um, in cahoots with each other and maybe showcasing like how that um, pairing deteriorates over time. Like maybe shows how they don't necessarily trust each other. Maybe they do. Maybe they're using each other. Um, what they really think of each other and stuff and showcasing how like you know the behind the scenes stuff because there's so many behind the scenes stuff that we don't know like not just when they meet each other in that one scene in chapter six but like you know when he's got the amber and then eventually when he Luis meets his untimely death like where's Ada and all this and stuff the last thing I like to mention in terms of characters is definitely um, the Krauser part. Now, a lot of people have stated that, you know, they don't want Krauser to do what he did in separate ways and, you know, after he supposedly died, get back up, mutate, and go after Ada. And, and I agree with that. I felt like that's a satisfying end for him in that game. But, you know, it would be nice to see maybe Ada and Krauser have some type of confrontation and stuff like that beforehand and stuff. Maybe when she's trying to get the the Amber from um, Louise in time for, you know, obviously Krauser kills Louise, but it'd be cool to see that dynamic, because we, we never got that in the remake, and a lot of people thought, you know, hey, that's a big thing left out. Obviously, they did it very differently, but it'd be cool to see that, but overall, um, four separate ways, I think the most important thing I want is just a satisfying event. I don't want a, a side content. I want a fully fleshed out campaign. I wanted to, you know, respect Ada, show her, show the stuff that we've been Ada fans have been crying about for a long time. You know, shut us up. You know, trust me, I'll be happy to shut up. You give me something good, but, but I like them to really fully explore the character of Ada even more, even in ways that we haven't seen. Because I see what they did with Leon, and I really love that, and I love that same effect to be on Ada. Because I still feel like to this day, there's so many people that really don't understand Ada. She might be one of the most misunderstood characters in all of Resident Evil and I really like to see that explored because 
you know, one of the things I've always loved about Ada, and I've said it um, in my Why I Love Ada Wong video to death, I love the fact that she's a bitch. I love that about her to this day. It's why she's my favorite Resident Evil character. But showcase, you know, what she's been doing these last six years since RE2 Hell. I'd be happy if you actually showed me um, how she survived from Resident Evil 2 Remake and all that stuff, and maybe how she got out of it. That'd be really, wouldn't that be a great start for this? Probably won't ever happen, but um, showcase, you know, her perspective on things. Um, I like them to obviously showcase the Ada Leon dynamic relationship there because we always see how, you know, Leon's meeting of Ada changed Leon. We saw it full force in this remake, but we also seem to forget that, you know, Ada also changed. That meeting with Leon changed her, and I like to see those changes. And I mean, I would absolutely love if we could see, like, you know, I love, as I said before in the original Resident Evil 4 remake campaign, that intro with Leon, I love that. Just imagine we got something like that with Ada and, you know, how she really feels. And honestly, you know, maybe get more of that inner monologue. We had that in the original separate ways, but I like to have more of those inner monologues where Ada's kind of talking to herself. And so we can see how she really feels about Leon, how she feels about what he says to her over the course of the game. And also what leads to her eventually betraying Wesker in the end. The last thing I'll mention that I personally want, and I kind of mentioned this earlier, but I shut up about it because I want to save it for last and... I feel like this is something that has to be in this thing as well. As I was mentioning weapons, and there's a certain weapon in the original Resident Evil 4 that was not in this game. And I was so sad and heartbroken by it because I love this thing to death. I feel like it has to be in this game. But to keep in spirit with it, I don't want this weapon to just be something you unlock by beating the game. I, I want a satisfaction in doing it. And yes, I, I know people could probably do this easier. Maybe have some way where you can't get away with doing it the easy way, but if you know what I'm talking about. But I would like the PRL 412 to be in the game, but I would like for it to be in the game and only be able to unlock it if you like beat the campaign a separate ways with an S plus ranking or something like that. Or I was thinking earlier because I had a discussion many about a month ago with somebody I'm talking about, well, now you can just buy the, the tickets to get the upgrade weapons and easily go about an S-plus ranking. Well, maybe you have some way where it's like, you know, hey, if you're doing it, it like in this particular way, like for this campaign, where like if you use an upgrade ticket at all, you can't get the max ranking just to make it as you know hard as possible just so that like people have that satisfaction of doing it. You know, and doing it, you know, the way without having the... Basically, there's no easy way of doing it. So, I just want that satisfaction so that if you got a PRL 412, you damn well know the person who's got it, they damn well earned it. But that's something I would personally... Maybe we'll call it S++ ranking. Maybe that's the only way to unlock that. But that'd just be something I really want because, you know me, I love that PRL 412 and I don't care how hard it is, I'm damn well going to get it regardless. I don't... I don't need no damn tickets. I'm going to get that way the hardest way no matter what it takes. But that's something I definitely would like to see. But but overall, if it could do the majority of those things, um, I think I'll be pretty happy and satisfied with this DLC whenever it comes out. But that is going to be it. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. And hopefully I can see you guys back on the next one. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. And I hope to see you all later. Peace.